Hey guys, Ashley here. Welcome back to my channel. This video is the first round robin box video of this new collaboration started by Casey and Catherine. So uh, Catherine started the box and my name was drawn first. So I got the box yesterday, but I haven't had time to make the video. And I did not even open this guy up. And yes, Catherine boxed it upside down, which is okay. So there's explicit instructions on here. This is the top, open from the top. And she's also reminded me several times. So Catherine, I'm opening it from, I'm opening it from the bottom, which is the top. So, you know, you guys knew what I was saying. So, okay, let's crack this guy open. It's a large flat rate box. So it is, it is packed to the gills here. This guy's heavy. So let me open this up here. Okay, my name is, once I open this last piece of tape here, I'll just lift it up and show you. Okay. Okay. In here, she has put, she's printed off the list of all of our names with our likes and dislikes column. My name is highlighted in pink because I am going first, which is, this is really good because um, the, she did send an email out that's on an Excel spreadsheet that sometimes isn't the easiest to access on the phone in my experience. So inside the box here, let me see if I, <laughs> this guy's heavy. That's my name right there in the box. And I think that she wants us to put our names inside the box just, um, or put our state or something like, I think we were talking about it. I'm, I can't remember, but this guy, if Mr. Flap can go down here, sorry, this is a little awkward right here, guys. This box is filled to the gills, filled to the gills, I tell you. And Catherine has also put in here, this is a little, this is a little bag with names. I will draw the person who I'm going to send uh, this box to next uh, at the end of this video. Hope I don't forget. And she also put a bag of poly bags in here for us. So if we want to take a couple of cubes or pieces of loaves or souffles, um, uh, we can. And I do know there are some items in here that are for people throughout the collab the, for, the, for the round robin box people um, that I'm just going to sniff and tell you my opinion of it, but those will go on to the respective person. I won't take any pieces of those, I promise. So I'm going to sit him down here just because it's easier to use both my hands on camera. This is my very first round robin box. So I hope I'm doing this correctly. <laughs> Okay, we have first, this is the bathing garden, and this is Storybook Mint. And, and I think this, this vendor, I actually ordered from her, I ordered from her um, the circus collection, which should be shipping, you know, here pretty soon. My very first experience with bathing garden. So if I don't keep a cube or so of this for myself, um, I will show you inside. This vendor does decorate her wax and a little uh, wooden heart says once upon a time, which is so cute there. I'm not lifting it up all the way because there is a good bit of glitter in here and I, I don't like glitter. Honestly, I hate glitter. So this week of the collab has been glitter free for me because I, if a, if a vendor is really heavy with glitter and, and I know the bathing garden is, which is, which is okay. I mean, it's my first experience with it and I'm just not a person that likes all that extra stuff, but this scent, it's very, I don't know the notes. Of course, this to my nose, is just a very light mint, nothing, nothing too. I'm making some room here. Nothing too extravagant, in my opinion. Next, we have um, this is Ella After Wax Company, and I've never had this vendor before. And this is Holiday Havoc Starbucks Coffee on Acid. Don't I don't know the notes of this one, of course, but it's coffee, and I love coffee. So let's see what this is. Um, this. I'm, I'm getting coffee. I don't know if it's a, a hazelnut. 
maybe, or it's a, it's a flavored coffee I'm, I'm getting. Maybe maple. Sweet coffee, definitely. I think I'll take a few shapes of that because I'm, I'm a coffee lover. Absolutely. Okay, next item in here is Philadelphia Story. I actually own this in the, this is Vintage Chic. I own this in the, um, the coins uh, from a couple of sales ago. The, I think it was the Taylor Swift restock from Vintage Chic. And this is pistachio pudding cake topped with cotton candy frosting and strawberries. And this is a nice one. I haven't melted this yet. Uh, this was this one was poured in October of last year, so this one's ready to go. But mine, I like to let cure for a few weeks. Uh, that is pistachio. I love pistachio. Okay, next we have, this is for Angela. Angela's name's on here. This is L. I think it's L or Ellie. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> L from Vintage Chic. This is toasted ego waffles smeared with cinnamon and sugar butter. Let's see what this guy smells like. Oh, that is so good. This is really good. Oh, I almost wish this wasn't for Angela because I would take a piece of this. This is this is good. I really like that I smell the ego and I smell the butter. It's so good. I will have to grab that next time it's offered with Vintage Chic. Okay, next is a shape from Swanky. I've ordered from Swanky too, but you know, that's in the making. It hasn't been shipped yet. Um, first time experience with that. This is Pomegranate Vanilla Passion Fruit. This one should be interesting. I don't do a lot of uh, passion fruit. I love pomegranate though. Oh yes, very, very fruity, very passion fruity, very pomegranate-y. <laughs> I'm making up words as I go, guys. Very good on that. Very fruit heavy, of course. Not so much vanilla. Passion fruit, absolutely. I have passion fruit. It's also known as lily koi in Hawaii. And I love passion fruit. Okay, this next one is from Lorid. This is boil and bubble. Twilight type cashmere and silk. Very glittery. But that's okay. We'll give her a sniff. Let's see here. Wow, that is, it's kind of a, it's kind of laundryish to me, guys. I don't know what Twilight ex exactly is. I don't know if it's Twilight Woods or if Twilight is a scent. I'm not, I'm not sure. But it's very, uh, it's a, a laundry scent to my nose. That one smells good. Okay, next we have uh, Six Impossible Things from Bathing Garden. And... This one, the tree, there's a tree. I didn't notice this because I haven't had this vendor before. There's a tree on this storybook mint, a tree. Maybe that means that's the, well, no, it can't be because what the hell kind of scent is a flying clock? Because there's a flying clock on here. I don't know. Maybe that's the theme for this. Um, oh, this is, uh, this is coffee, I believe. Has to be coffee. Coffee mixed with things. That is delicious and scrumptious. I feel bad because there's a there's a lot of um, vendors in here I haven't tried yet. So um, I might be taking a little bit out of this box and keeping it for myself just to test these vendors out in my home. Um, I hope I can fulfill the box to everybody's delight. Okay, next one is, this is Scentsy, Disney, Angel Experiment 624. I don't know what... I haven't watched Disney stuff in quite some time. Oh, this is for Lacey. There, Lacey's name is there. Let's see what this smells like. Oh, very pretty, very feminine. Very, it's, I don't know if it's fruity, but it's definitely perfumey. Very, very pretty. That is a pretty scent. I do like that one. Okay, next we have Destination Wax Spiked Eggnog. I almost bought this one, actually. Uh, vanilla Eggnog Spiked with Rum. Ooh, uh, clove, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg topped with whipped cream. Let's see what this one smells like. Mm. It's just eggnog to me. I don't smell the rum. And Destination Wax does a lot of single oils. She doesn't do a whole ton of blends. I'd say probably 80, 85% of her arsenal are single oils, which is okay. And I think this is a single oil because I've seen other vendors offer spiked eggnog. It's okay. It's not blowing me out of the house. 
or to to say what Carson says, hey, NASA can smell this when I'm melting this, so it's really strong. He makes me laugh. <laughs> okay, next is sweater weather. I've actually had this. I have two of these bars. Uh, this is Destination Wax, Juniper Berry, Eucalyptus, Sage, and Lingering Mint. Bath and Body Works type. Let's just, yep, that's sweater weather. A fun fact about me, Sweater weather in house fragrance, you know, candles, wax, uh, wallflower, I love. Body care smells like wet freaking dog to me. Wet dog. I hate it. I will never wear the body care. Ew. But house stuff, yes, it's good for me. Okay, next, this is a really big box, guys. This might be a long video. So just uh, get a drink, sit back, relax. I should have said that at the beginning. Okay, this next one is Lorid. Soda O'Shea, Tropical Soda, Orange Soda, Cream Soda. Pour June 13th. That's the day before my birthday. Ooh, I revealed my birthday on here. Um, let's see here. This is... Mm, this one isn't for me. It's just... It doesn't smell like much to my nose. There's a little bit of orange in there, a little bit of tropical fruit, but it's not, um, I don't think I would like that one just because I'm not, I'm not one that gravitates to a lot of orange, orange. I mean, I like orange fruit loops from Destination Wax, but there's more to it than just the orange. I personally find orange is a poor performer to my nose. Next is for Ashley. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Tea Time Tarts, Glazed Pistachio Danish, hot damn. This is pistachio cream on a gently caramelized Danish. Oh, Catherine, holy potatoes. That's my, that's my curse word for work is holy potatoes. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's better than the alternative <laughs> at work. <laughs> so keep it G-rated, keep it G-rated. This is, oh, that's good. That's pistachio and bakery and i am going to keep this all for myself because i am in that really eclectic group of people that love pistachio scents that's going over to the right okay next is this is lurid cozy which is her sweater weather type let's see how this one smells compared to rebecca's destination wax I think this is a hair weaker. Destination Wax is a little bit stronger. But, you know, I think I think I will take a, a cube or so of this just to um, see how it performs in my home because I don't have experience with Lorid either. Okay, this is the Melting Company. I don't know them. I haven't melted their stuff. Paradise. This is a sample. That's a big sample. Ooh, let's see what this smells like. Mm, this smells like, I've smelled something like this before. This is tropical. Tropically, maybe a little bit of hibiscus or a little bit of lily in there. Maybe, maybe. I'd have to see the notes of all these to really tell you if I'm really smelling it. Okay, this is Central Perk from Jim's Daughter Crafts. I've had this before. I've had this blend. I love Jim Daughter Crafts, but unfortunately I put her on my list of I'm on pause with. I'll buy from her in the future, but I do like Jim's Otter Crafts. This is Old Town uh, Coffee and Old Town Bake Shop. This is from her coffee sampler, I believe, or something that Michelle poured after the fact. I remember this. Um, this was June 2021. I don't remember when she did her coffee sampler, but this is a nice blend. I'll leave that in a box for somebody else. This is Leanna's Lullaby. I love Leanna's Lullaby. I have two loaves of it. So I don't think I need any more, but, oh, that's good. This is the Johnson & Johnson uh, baby bedtime bath baby wash of lavender and chamomile. That's really good. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's, it's really relaxing. Next is the Smell Good Shop. This is for Angie. This is coffee brulee, Irish coffee and creme brulee. Ooh. That smells... This is a little bit, to my nose, it's a little bit more of a bitter coffee than some of the other vendors I've smelled, but I'm not sure. Oh, I said Irish coffee. 
Sorry, I, I'm I'm not really a moron. It's fresh coffee. Her the F kind of can be an I, and I guess the E is not an the E is not an I. So <laughs> that's my flub there, guys. Okay, we'll start over. Coffee brulee, fresh coffee and creme brulee. Sorry, no offense to the Smell Good Shop. This is a, this is a little bit more of a bitter coffee, but hopefully Angie will like this scent. That's just I'm just giving you my opinion on all of these ones here. Okay, this is a bag of, this says fresh, and I don't know if these are for anybody here. I don't see names in here, but let me, let me see. This is fresh, pink cotton. That is, uh, hmm, very unique. I've never smelled anything like this before. Very, that's very nice there. And this one is Magnolia Linen. Very, very, very heavy on Magnolia. You have to like floral to like this one. It reminds me of living in South Carolina, actually, the Magnolia trees. And this next one is Happy New Home from Scentsy. Let's see what this one smells like. Mm, that one's okay. It doesn't really have... A note that stands out to me to be able to describe it to you so we'll keep it moving on to the next item here okay starting to make a little bit of a dent into this guy tropical dole from sugar melts by Stacy uh, this is a souffle tropical dole which I'm assuming is the pineapple oh this is I wonder if there's a little bit of bakery in here because no false alarm this is that's pineapple but i don't know i have to i would have to see if there's any bakery in there because i got a little bit of a hint of bakery when i opened up the bag but it probably is just it's probably just me <laughs> uh very pineapple-y very fruity very fruity for that one okay this one is marked for natalie this is salem soy company Cranberry Harvest, Mac Apple, Frosted Cranberry, and Leaves. Ooh, this one, this one is pretty. It has an embed in it with some glitter, and that's a leaf. If you look at it the other way, it looks like lips, but then it's a leaf. <laughs> that's a nice, that's a nice cranberry blend. I can smell the leaves in it, definitely. She should have fun with that one. That's a nice fall blend. Okay, we have a scoop in here. This is for Angie. This is Coffee Bean Palo Santo Snickers Mallow. Wow. I know that Jen has her, uh, well, she had her Snickers latte, I think in a pre-order yesterday. I saw, I've seen it recently on her site. But this, what I'm getting off the bat from this is Coffee Bean with just a slight inkling of the Palo Santo. He's in here. I know he is. That's a good scent. Angie will like that one. Okay, moving on. Oh, there's more Destination Wax in here. Catherine, you packed this box exquisitely, I will say. This was a really, really good job. I just hope I can fit all of it back in here, plus whatever I put in here. I hope I can fit it all in here. Okay, this is marked for Krista. These two here are um, Zucchini Bread Berry. Zucchini bread made with sweet huckleberries, blueberries, plums, rich cream, and spices. I haven't tried this one yet. This is Destination Wax. That's nice. That is really nice. This is blueberry, mainly. Blueberry, huckleberry. I don't smell plum, but that it's, it's a blueberry dominant scent. That is a nice one. And this one's also marked for Krista. This is Pretzel Break... Blah, blah. Pretzel blueberry. This one. Oh, pretzel dominant. Yes, pretzel dominant. With a little bit of blueberry, but it's it's mostly pretzel to my nose. Oh, strawberry seeds. Oh, I freaking love strawberry seeds. It's so it's so good. I know Catherine doesn't like strawberry, but oh, it's just that it's unmistakable. It's the unmistakable juicy fresh tart strawberry that oh i like that one a lot 
Casey's Peaches and Clean. Oh, man. I love laundry. I love laundry and linen. And, and laundry and fruit, I should say. That one, that one is nice. I do like this. This is an airy blend of tree ripened peaches and freshly washed linens. Very um, light peach and not too much on the laundry part to my nose. This is a really nice one too. And Scottish Hearth. Ooh, this one is always sold out when I try to grab it. I haven't tried to order from DW in a while, but this is Old World Hearth Fire of Fresh Old World Hearth, fire of fresh applewood bows tossed onto burning logs of white birch. Let's see what this one is. Oh, yes. Definitely wood and definitely smoke. Very... I'm pondering this one, guys. Very burning log i will say this is a beautiful description of this i don't know if this i think this is a single oil i'm not sure though very woodsy and very smoky so if you don't like those two scents that one probably would not be for you in my opinion okay this bag is for michaela this is ava's country cupboard which i haven't tried yet she's on my to try list Fruity Pebble Marshmallow Bars, which is Sticky Sweet Marshmallows and Fruity Pebble Cereal. Let's see what this guy smells like. Oh, yeah. Definitely Fruity Pebbles and Marshmallow Cereal Bars. Definitely that. Absolutely. That one was for Michaela. Okay, we have some. This is for Jenny. This is Sugar Melts by Stacy Blackberry Lavender. I hope I'm supposed to be saying the names of who these are for already, because Catherine did put some stuff in here for all of us as goodies. So um, I hope I'm okay revealing that. I didn't ask beforehand, so oops. Here it is. Uh, this is Crisp Blackberry, Cranberry, Fresh Mandarin, and Lavender. This is... These are decorated here. These souffles that Stacy decorates. I'm getting lavender, lavender, definitely mixed with blackberry and a little bit of the orange. But it's lavender heavy to my nose. And, you know, lavender and I have struggled for the last eight, eight months since it's eight, eight months, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seven, seven months. Seven months since I had COVID, so Lavender and I are trying to be friends again, but it's complicated. <laughs> okay, Susan, Sugar Mouse by Stacy, Snow White, Clean Cotton and Creamy Peppermint. I am falling more and more in love with clean cotton and laundry scents. This one is very unique in that... I'm getting the clean cotton with the afterthought of peppermint. That is a nice one. That is a very nice one. I would order that for myself. That is a very nice one. Okay, next, this one is Sugar Melts by Stacy Circus Cookie Explosion. Ooh. I hope I'm showing all of these on camera. I think I am, but I'm just so excited by the box. I, I can't help myself. <laughs> Okay, this is definitely circus cookie. It's got a little bit, it smells like a little bit more, you get clean air. It's, uh, I need some coffee beans here. Definitely circus cookie, but I'm getting a little bit more of a frosting component to this one. I haven't smelled this blend of hers before. That is, that's a good one. Ooh, Mac Apple Zucchini Bread, a whole entire loaf from L3. I actually, this is one of my favorite scents, and I have a whole loaf of this in my arsenal. This, oh, this is so good. This is, I love how they're already chunked up in these, these nice little chunks here. This is two, they're sticking together. But this is Mac Apple Dominant, followed with, the unmistakable deliciousness of that zucchini bread. I love L3. 
you know, we've been chatting a lot in our round robin group. A lot of L3 fans, and I, I really am loyal to L3. I really like her customer service, her blend requests that she pours, like, like she takes our requests and pours them. You know, she just had a customer um, creation contest. A few of my blends were picked. And a lot of us other ones. She picked 25 winning blends. Very, very generous of Jen. 25 winning blends. Okay, this one is for Lacey. Moving my foot here because my foot's going to sleep. If I sit cross-legged too much, my foot goes to sleep here. And what do you know? We got some glitter. Probably from Lorid. That Lorid, I tell you. But anyways. <laughs> okay, Twinkle Little Star. Sugar Melts by Stacy, Twinkle Little Star. Pink Sugar, Sugar Lavender. Man, I need another cup of coffee. Pink Sugar, Sweet Lavender, Peppermint, and Cream Filling. This one should be interesting. Let's see what this one smells like. This one is Pink Sugar Dominant. Pink Sugar Dominant with a little bit of peppermint. I'm not getting the lavender, and of course the cream doesn't really have much of a scent to me, but... This is a really pretty, dainty, feminine blend. Very, very, very good. Very, very, very good. Okay. Next, this is for Lori. Dream Bean. Blueberry. Dark Roasted Coffee. Caramel. And two pumps of vanilla. This one should be interesting. I love coffee, too. This one... Coffee heavy, of course. Coffee heavy with a, what I'm getting the caramel. Not so much the blueberry, but I'm sure that will become alive when it's warmed up. This is a good one. Miss Lori, I think you will like that one if you like coffee. That is a good one. All of a sudden, I have a glitter star on my leg. <laughs> okay, getting down to the bottom of the box here. Ooh, we have a little bit of uh, something on the bottom of the box. I think I'm supposed to uh, take them out, but we'll do the wax first. Okay, we have some Rose Girls. Fresh Baked Bread. I think I have this scent. I don't know. I have a lot of Rose Girls. This is very yeasty. Catherine described this as yeasty, and she is right. This is yeasty. And a little bit salty. It almost has a pretzel-y component to it. It's not buttery bread. It's yeasty bread with a little bit of a little bit of pretzel I'm picking up, but I might be I might be nuts. Okay. This is coffee, which she has in a bag because coffee is a strong scent here. We have espresso, plain rose girls espresso. That is just espresso. Nothing else to describe that one as. And then we have absolute coffee. And I know I have this one as well. This one is coffee. I mean, these are two, these are two um, single oils, I believe. Okay. Woo. Hit my wallflower on the wall here. Okay, this one is marked for Carson, and this is Cotton Candy Winter Lemonade, Sugar Melts by Stacy. This guy smells like cotton candy heavy, and I'm not getting the I'm not getting the lemonade very much, but it's very much cotton candy. So, Carson, I think you'll like that one if you like cotton candy and your lemonade. Okay, this is a couple more here, guys. We have Teddy Bees, Cindy Lou Does Paris, Lulu Bell, Sweet Paris, and Frosted Pine. Teddy Bees is coming on the way to me, too. I've ordered some from her uh, last pre-order. Sweet on Paris, if I remember right, it's Bath and Body Works scent, and it's... Um, macaronish, kind of, maybe, perfumey. I don't know. I'm not... I don't have a lot of experience with Sweet on Paris, so I might not be doing this one justice. I'm not getting pine, and I don't know what Lulu Bell is. I might have to look on her website and see what Lulu Bell is. I don't really know. 
much about that one. And this next one is Lululemon. Clothes pins, dewberries, Meyer lemons, and a hint of an element. This is Teddy Bees. So this one, very tart lemon, very tart lemon. Um, even though Meyer lemon to my nose is a little bit more mature scent than a regular lemon lemon, uh, Meyer lemon is just different to my nose. And Not so much to clothes pins. Maybe that comes alive on warm. But uh, in the bottom of this box, if you can see, are all of our names with little cards here. So let me pick my name out of here. All of our names are in the bottom of this box. And little cards. So let's see what this says. And then I'll pick the name out of the little bag next here. Okay, this says, thank you very much. Ashley, I am so grateful to have met you. You bring such positivity to my life, and I love how you, you are all unapologetically you. I love your giggle, I love your humor, and I love how you have such a wonderful outlook on life. Keep being you. Forever friends, Catherine. Oh, that makes my day. You know, thank you so much, Catherine. And I will say that, you know, asked to be part of this round robin group and part of this next collaboration really um, has really meant the world to me. And, you know, I, I am new to the YouTube world, but I've been welcomed in with open arms. And this is just a fabulous group of people that I have met. The Wax community is such a great, uplifting, positive place. And let's keep it that way. Um, so finally... The little pouch of names. I'm going to open this guy up and see who I'm going to send this box to next. Little pieces of paper, and I'm, I'm not looking, obviously. I hope I get one. I think I have one piece of, I think it's one piece of paper here. Let's see. That's, this is one piece. Okay. On camera, this is going to Mr. Carson Cole. Carson Cole gets this box next. So, okay, Carson, you're getting this guy next. All righty, guys. That is the round robin box. Um, recipient number one, me, in Utah, going to Mr. Carson, and I think he's in Oklahoma. So this box will make its way around, and my name is on the box here because my name was drawn first. So then I'm going to put Carson's name up in the top to know that it's made his way to him. So, okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun unboxing this and I'm just so excited to try some of these scents and to keep it moving on to Carson. So, okay guys, have a good evening.